Hey guys, I wanted to tell you about this new shampoo um, I just got. It's from the Aromacology line at L'Occitane, and it's a repairing shampoo. So there's a couple interesting things I learned. Um, I looked up one of the things um, on the back of this label here, and it says this shampoo is formulated without silicone that helps repair, strengthen, and protect dry and damaged hair. So I was wondering, what's bad about silicone? People use it all the time. And I found out um, silicone is actually really common in hair products, and it makes the hair feel really shiny and slippery, but they also say it's a temporary way to make your hair feel shiny. And um, actually, anything that ends with cone, C-O-N-E, often has silicone. So I looked at one of the cheaper shampoos that I used to buy quite a bit. Um, it's from Suave. And let's see, one, two, three, the third, um, top ingredient in this shampoo is alcohol dimethicone. So dimethicone is also a silicone. And so they say um, it actually, over the long term, it can actually make your hair more dry because it, it prevents, um, when it builds up, it prevents conditioner from getting into your hair. So um, I also looked at this um, other shampoo or this other conditioner. It's, it's also more, um, more on the level of L'Occitane in price. It's, uh, it's about $27 and it's from Biolage Matrix and it's the Hydrosource, Hydrosource with aloe. And so I looked at the ingredients and it's really great. I actually don't see any silicone sounding products in this ingredient list. It's actually a pretty short ingredient list compared to Suave. Um, Sorry, it's in many languages, hard to compare. But I looked at some of the active ingredients in this shampoo. So, one of the first ones um, is this thing called Angelica. It's an essential oil. And so there's five essential oils in Aromacology. And I think they pride themselves on having this really medicinal, relaxing smell. Or they didn't say medicinal, but it actually sound, uh, smells pretty medicinal. And the top ingredient is angelica. So angelica is an essential oil um, that's actually um, used for health problems, like I think like cardiac health problems. And it has a bioactive agent that um, apparently re promotes hair renewal. And, and, ac and according to this, it says anti-breakage um, efficacy. And it also has a relaxing scent um, effect on the body, and that's probably the main smell you smell when you use it. And it's actually been used by um, the Chinese for centuries to, um, to deal with hair loss. So it treats hair loss, apparently. And it also is enriched with vitamin E, which stimulates circulation in your scalp, and it should promote overall health of your hair in the long term. And a fun fact is Angelica is used to flavor gin. So the second most common essential oil used in this is Lang Ylang. It's a Y-L-A-N-G, twice. And see, I looked it up, and it's apparently good for inflammatory issues. And it um, regularizes sebum production. So if you have too much sebum or like oils coming out of your scalp, it's supposed to reduce that to a more normal, constant level. And apparently, um, you can blend it with other oils and it improves the overall strength and appearance of your hair. And so the other essential oils, they're just uh, sweet orange, lavender, and geranium. So you've probably heard of those. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for listening.